What is up YouTube? It is now under two weeks out from Christmas. The best holiday ever and it finally, finally kind of good enough snowed here in Ottawa, the good old Canada. So we have at least snow outside right now. Enough that it's white out there because there's nothing worse than a brown Christmas. So at least it looks like we're gonna have a decently white Christmas. Hopefully we get some more snow because it just feels more cheery. It feels more like Christmas when it's just white out and there's snow everywhere. I can't imagine living in like Florida, Arizona, those kind of places. I, could, I would love living there, but for the 25 days before Christmas, I feel like it would just wouldn't feel right if there wasn't snow outside. I just mean, I. Yeah, it wouldn't feel right if there wasn't snow outside. It wasn't cold. But as soon as Christmas is over, January 1st kind of twirled around, I'm ready to get the hell out of here. So maybe I could imagine living in Florida and Arizona. In light of Christmas, we are going Christmas shopping today. I'm going to meet my sister to finish off the gifts we're getting for our family kind of and stuff. We're going to meet at the mall. Sadly, not the one next door because she lives on the other side of the city. But we're going to go. We're going to shop. We're going to complete everything that we need. I got mostly my shit done. It's all kind of sitting there and I need to wrap it because Courtney comes in in two days or so and she's probably going to peek into everything so I got to wrap that shit up. And yeah, so pretty much that's what's going on today. I've been setting up a fucking layer over here. Created a man cave because Courtney was gone. Literally moved this sh shitty old chair my parents gave me like three feet in front of the TV and the ghetto blind is back because I still have not purchased blinds but there's way too much glare going on the TV to game, so that's what I had to do. I've been gaming two games mainly. I got Modern Warfare, which I absolutely am horrendous at. I've never been a good first person shooter, but it reminds me of Call of Duty 4, which was like the last Call of Duty I probably played with my friends back in high school. So it's pretty fun. I'm trying to get the hang of it. I gotta go buy a mic so I can play with like Calvin and some friends online and just kinda Maybe get better, maybe just use it as a social tool because I don't leave my house very often. Second game I've been playing is uh, Jedi, The Fallen Order or whatever, the Star Wars game. I'm more of an adventure style, like open world slash adventure game person myself rather than playing online. Because when I play against other people, they're always way better than me. So I play single player games because I suck at video games. But yeah, it's, it's, I've just started playing it. It's pretty fun. It's got a cool story. Pretty simple gameplay. Maybe I'll show you guys a little bit of shit when I'm playing it later. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to because Courtney's been gone, the weather's shit, and off season hasn't started. We're not in prep. Just kind of chilling in limbo right now. I got a lot of stuff coming up, a lot of exciting news coming up too in the new year. So stuff we're gonna have to get started, get prepared right after Christmas and really excited to be doing that. But for now, we're going Christmas shopping and yeah, we'll see you in the next clip. All right, so successful day of shopping with Melissa. We pretty much got everyone's stuff done. I got something for Ian, which I needed. We got stuff for our parents and pretty much done. She had to order one more thing online, I think. Now I'm back and I have a special lady coming to visit tomorrow. Courtney's finally coming back to good old Canada. So I gotta wrap her gift up because she's probably gonna sneak around and look at it. So I don't really know how to wrap gifts or anything, but I'm gonna attempt this right now. So this is her one thing. It's a box inside of a box. So like you don't really, you gotta hide the size of it. So you have no idea what's in there. And I can't tell you guys either because who knows if she can watch it. And I got some nice little wrapping paper at Walmart because it was on sale, but also very cute little penguins on it and Santa Claus. I'm going to try and wrap this gift, show you guys my attempt at it. Maybe you can learn how to wrap a gift in this video too. You never know. I'm going to try and wrap this and show you guys the final product. Okay, so step number one, I suppose, is making sure it's long enough when you cut the paper. So I'm pretty sure you just roll it over a couple times and measure it like that. So there's four sides to a box. You roll it three times to get all four sides. Step two, gonna be covering up the first side of it. So step two, gonna be covering up like this each side on the top of it. I got some cute pink tape too. So I think the paper is way too long on the ends. That side's good, this side's too long, so I'm gonna cut 
a little bit off. Ooh, God, my knees are not built for this. This is the skill part, if I remember correctly. You gotta fold the middle down like this into a little wall. Kind of create two walls on the side here. And then you fold each of these in like that. Take that pitch up. Repeat on the other side. That's not such a bad job. The tape is a little ugly, a little wobbly on the edges, but you know, it's all covered. It's a box and it's wrapped. You know you're getting oh, a little too beat up and old when you can't even sit on the floor and wrap one single gift. It's pretty sad, but that's literally it for my wrapping right now. I'm gonna save the rest for Christmas Eve, <laughs> probably. That's about as proactive I get on my shit. Hopefully, hopefully you get learned how to wrap a gift. If you didn't know how, now you know. You're welcome. Seabum, the craft master. Maybe I should start a craft, arts and crafts channel. Maybe you guys would like that better. Kind of just me making my shit, doing my thing, you know? Anyways, moving on. I gotta go to the gym soon, meeting up with Maddie P. I'm gonna go to, I think I'm gonna make him go to the Mavadi with me because I like that gym way better. But today, is push day so i'm gonna probably focus on more triceps a little bit maybe close grip bench i don't know we'll figure it out but i'm gonna head to the gym with matt and we'll see you guys there what's going on guys back here in the movadi fuel force room starting off all my workouts here lately because it's just chill and there's no one ever in here but here with matty p he typically never trains push pull legs so he's supposed to be what for you shoulders shoulders yes i trained arms yesterday so my triceps are a little a little toasty right now. Toasty. Yeah, I'm being selfish and making him. Excuses, yeah, we, <laughs> they, we always have excuses. That's the important part of bodybuilding. Excuses. We're here. I converted him for a push day for the day. So we're starting off with incline close grip, and we got a new kind of bar here that I've never used in my entire life, to be honest. It's got like handles in it, which put your hands into a neutral grip instead of like a normal bar. So it's a little interesting. Personally, I find it takes a little stress on my shoulders. He's got really bad shoulders, so hopefully it helps him. But yeah, so we're gonna get into the push workout. Hope you guys like it. Why, why the push pull leg split? I already explained this in a video. Oh, you did? I'm trying to get more volume. <laughs> I did a full video explaining this. Well, sorry. I, don't watch my I, I don't watch your YouTube that often. Explain for the kids you haven't seen that are like me. Trying quick, get, just quick version. I'm trying to get more volume throughout the week. Okay. okay. I change body part minimum twice a week. We do a bro split, one body part a day. Max five days in a row. Plus probably a rest day, so you're only training every six days. So, more volume. Okay. Frequency, body part, plus volume in a day, more over time.
I know. I couldn't even do that. It wasn't even like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Felt like a child. I'm like hello, one of those like, yeah, yeah. All right, what's going on guys? So, trained a little bit later than normal, so I came back starving, wanting to eat, and I literally didn't have enough rice, and I have no potatoes cooked, so I'm kind of sad cooking rice to make my next meal. I'll show you guys what I'm making it. I got veggies on the stove, and I got rice over there, but in between, because I'm just hungry, and I needed to snack, I threw together a delicious looking PB and J sandwich. I even cut it, in a triangle, like when I was younger, when I was a little kid, because I loved biting it on the skinny part and eating along, just what I did when I was a little kid, and having a bunch of blueberries just to kind of get something in right now because I'm absolutely starving. And when this rice is finally cooked, I shall make my actual meal. Also, on this flick, Six Underground on Netflix, highly recommended. It's a fucking sick movie, and Ryan Reynolds, I think, is in it, and he's Bay, so he's a fucking beauty. And it's just a great movie. If you guys want a good movie, watch that. But I'm gonna get this together, show you guys what I'm gonna eat post push day. I'm gonna have a little shrimp, a little rice, a little veggie, a little spinach, and make a nice little meal out of it. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. Distracting myself till the rice cooked, but finally cooked. But this is the shrimp I'm using. Good old trifecta, hooking it up. There's not a lot left, but I didn't want to have any more in there. I got 180 grams of it and 300 grams of white rice. So full meal is going to be 180 grams of shrimp, 300 grams of white rice, vegetables, and a little bit of coconut oil, as well as some coconut aminos, because these are taste amazing on rice. I have been upping my carbs, food, calories, everything intake up quite a bit and gradually kind of increasing it. I really was not eating a lot before and it kind of shucked my appetite you could say but I've been eating a bit more so I gotta do a full day of eating to keep you guys updated on what I'm doing show you guys everything I'm doing to start off this kind of prep off season to ease into eating more calories because I can't just bump it up to like 5,000 and get going that's way too much right now I'm at like maybe four probably I don't know I'll track it for a day videotape it show you guys and I hope you enjoy it I wanted to talk about something that uh, a supplement that I take, when, especially when I like train a little bit later in the day, revives Calm product. So pretty much the label says, stress management, mood enhancement, increased physical, mental, and sexual performance. So sounds like pretty fucking good shit. But it's supposed to help with like cortisol levels, help you kind of relax, come down. And when I train a little bit late and I'm kind of like stimmed up, like right now I still have a lot of energy if you can tell. But I took caffeine a little bit too late and just working out just kind of like amps me up. So I take this when it's like later in the day. I just got some B vitamins, folate, magnesium, and nozitol, a bunch of other good shit. And it honestly, honestly, like actually relaxes you a lot. You take this as like a bit before bed, go to sleep, and sometimes it'll just be in bed and you can just feel, just feel like, you can just tell you feel a lot more relaxed. So it's a pretty awesome product. I definitely recommend. And just something good, if you, especially if you're someone who kind of like, needs to work late at night or do stuff late at night and then when you try and go to bed you're just like wide awake and you can't fall asleep definitely something i recommend because i mean we all know the number one like the most important part of training is rest recovery and if you can't sleep that's a huge issue i'm like obsessed with getting the perfect amount of sleep the right amount of sleep every single night so like this is a big staple for me i love taking this <clears throat> but my shit's probably burning here on the stove so that's gonna wrap up this video i'm gonna eat this watch my flick and now I gotta eat again. I gotta eat some oats later to get the calories in. Good old off season. Gotta love it. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys like it. If you did, please like the video. Remember to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.